Then let's try to solve um, another question using the same concept from the previous question which we are from solving. So now we are going to say, here now the question is a pool ball A of mass MA is equal to 0 0.400 kg moving with a speed of VA is equal to 1.8 meters per second along the positive x-axis. Strike another ball B initially at rest of, of mass MB is equal to 0 0.5 Zero, 00 kg. The collision result in ball A being diffracted off at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to positive x axis with a speed of 1.1 meters per second. So, if you can remember very well, I said the speed of this ball A initially is going to be greater than the speed of the fine. We can even see here. Here it was 1.8, now it's 1.1. Okay, at the same time, we don't expect the speed of ball B, the final which we are going to find, to be greater than 1.1. Yeah. So the, the first question, write down equation expressing the conservation of momentum in X and Y directive separately. It's the same thing which we are doing. So you say X direction, you start from the first. So it will be, in x direction, initially you are going to say, we have m, m a, v a initially, plus m b, v b initially, is equal to m a, v a final, but in x direction, plus m b, v b final, now in x direction, okay? After reaching at this point, we know that um, Bob B was initially at rest. We don't expect here this one to be here. So we are going now to have M A B M A V A initially to be equal to M A V A final. Since it is in X, it's going to be cos. So you say this is going to be theta A because we are dealing with A plus mb vb final cos theta b like that so this is going to be the equation for the x axis okay then for the y axis y direction is going to be you start initially when we're talking about garnishing collision in y direction before collision we have zero. It was not moving in y direction. But after collision, that's where we expect now to have m a v a final, but in y direction minus here now it's going to be minus because the other one now the y axis is going toward the negative y axis. So it's going to be now m b v b final in y axis. So zero will be equal to m a v a final sine theta a minus m b v b final sine theta b like that so this is going to be my equation in y axis so for the first question you are done then the, the next question is saying uh, solve the equation for the speed of bob b after collision and the angle theta b. So we can see that the data which have been given here, we have been given the mass of m a, the mass, the velocity of m a, of v a, that is initially, the mass for m b, angle for theta a, then the, again the final velocity for uh, v a. So we want to find the theta which is for v b and also the velocity for v b. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. So we start with the first one here. Let's plug in the values. M A is 0 .0 0 0.4. The velocity initially it is uh, 1.8 is equal to M A 0 0.4. The V A final we have been given. Okay. We have been given the V A final which is 1.1. So I'll say 1.1 then I have got cos 
the theta I've been given theta for a is 30 plus mb is what mb is 0 0.5 the vb we don't know fine even the cos the, the theta we don't know i'll leave it there so i can simplify that and say uh, 0 0.5 times 1.0 times 1.5 is going to be 0 0.9 should be equal to now there I'm going to have I can start first with cos 13 the answer I find times 0 0.4 times 1.1 so here I'm getting 0 0.381 plus then here now I have 0 0.5 I have 0 0.5 then um vbf cos theta b like that i'll leave it here i'll call that as equation one now i can go back to y direction i also plug in the values we see what we're going to have okay so let's plug in the values so 0 ma is 0 0.4 va we have been told that is 0 point the final one now 0 or oh, 1.1 1 .1. 1 .1. one sine the theta is 30 minus here m this is 0 0.5 vb we don't know the theta we don't know Let's shift this to go to the other side. So that will that will be now. Let me just say 0 0.5 VB final sine theta B is equal to. So you have 0 0.5 or 0 0.4. Um, or let me just say sine 30 times. Sin 30 times 0 0.4 times 1.1. So 0 0.22. You see here. Okay. So this is my equation 2. Now let's see. <clears throat> I think the first thing we can do is um, here I can shift this to go to the other side. So I can say 0 0.9 minus 0 0.2. 381 will be equal to 0 0.5 VB. This is not supposed to be, oh, this is final. VB final cos theta B. At this point, I can clearly see that it's going to be 0 point, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 minus 0 0.381. That is 0 0.59 is equal to 0 0.5 VB final cos theta B. At this point, I can now divide. I'm going to divide the the first equa the second equation by the second uh, by the first equation. The reason why I'm going to do this is because this is having sign. And this is having cos. So if I divide the sine divided by cos, it's going to give me tan, which is going to be easy for me. You can even divide cos by by sine, but it's going to give you cot, of which you're going to have some challenges maybe to, to work out. So what I'm going to do now here is, let me create space here. And let me just push this to go on there. And we know that that is our equation 1. Then I'm going to again get rid of this. And I'll shift this to also go there. So we need to divide. The one for sine has to be on top. So we'll say um 
0 0.5, I'll start 0 0.2, 2, I'll, I'll start writing this, is equal to 0 0.5 VB final sin theta B. So I divide this by the first equation, which has got cos. So it's 0 0.519 is equal to 0 0.5 V B fine then you have got cos theta B so we can clearly see that 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 can cancel V B and that one can also cancel so I'll remain with sine theta divided by cos theta then here I have I have 0 0.22 if you want you can find the answer is fine is equal to now tan theta b like this so to find the theta b is going to be tan inverse of 0 0.22 divided by 0 0.519 like that so theta b will be equal to if i do shift tan open brackets 0 0.22 divided by 0 0.5 one nine. I close the brackets. So I'm getting my angle to be 22.9 which is the same as 23 degrees. After finding the angle, we need to find the velocity for the VB. Fine. Okay. So I'm going to choose any equation for the either the first one or the second one because now I know the theta. So let me go with the first one. 0 0.519 is equal to 0. Point is equal to 0 0.5 um, the v1 we don't know or the vb sorry fine we don't know but now it's going to be cost 23 because the angle I know it so that would mean to say we have 0 0.519 is equal to 0 0.5 uh, times cos theta or let me just do it so it's 0. 0 0.5 cos 23 which is 0 0.4 0 0.46 0 0.46 0, uh, 0 0.25 so I'll just say 0 0.46 VB fine then the next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.46 these will cancel out and I'm going to have VB final is equal to 0 0.519 divided by 0 0.46 so it's giving me 1 1.1 1.128 so it has to be in three decimal places, which is um, VB final will be 1.13. Uh, 1 1.13 meters per second. I was expecting this to be less than this. I don't know where I've went wrong, but I feel like this is the correct answer. So try to follow the same principle. See if you are going to be able to find 1.13. But in most cases, you are going to find that eh, the VB is going to be less than VA in most cases. But in this case, no. Okay.